We had a request to come in from one of my favorite subjects, as you may know by now if you watch many of our tips. This person says, I've heard a lot about controlling color transition. Would you do a tip about that? Let's move some color around. I say move color around because transition means move. Move from one thing to something that's different. And moving in a smooth way we use the word gradation often to describe a transition, but let's just call it transition. Did you know that color can move, and did you know it can move in three ways? So it's the movement, the how we handle the movement of color that creates a transition. So when a color is changing in any way, then making that smooth transition through that change is what this request is about. Let's look at the different ways that color moves and how we can make that transition. One obvious way that color moves is from hue to hue. Now on the color wheels that we receive today, the colors are separated into individual little categories that sort of register on what we recognize a color to be. Yellow, yellow orange, yellow green, green, etc. as it goes around the wheel. But in reality, this is what color does. Color moves. Any color you call yellow might be a yellow that leans a little bit more towards green, such as this yellow does here. Where at this point would you stop calling it yellow and start calling it yellow green? That is a movement. That is a transition. And on this side, where would you stop calling it yellow and start calling it yellow orange? So you see the really no place, no exact place, and a lot of it depends upon perception. But when you see in any subject you're looking at, when you see a change like that, that goes from a hue, one hue, to another hue, that is a transition. And so what would we do about a transition like that? Well, if we had yellow, and if the yellow were registering pretty much on what we would call yellow, like this yellow is here, to make that transition, or technical, te technically, to make that transition, we would, one way to do that uh, would be to carry the yellow itself a little bit beyond where we can still call it yellow. And let's say if it's moving towards red, yellow moving towards, like in a fire, for example, a quick tip we did just previous to this uh, was about the warm and cool and how the as a fire is burning from its source on up, it starts out as yellow and gradually changes to orange and to red. That's a transition. You'll see that happen in like leaves in the fall, especially where the light might be shining through the leaves, or petals of flowers where the light meet, might be on the back side of the flower shining through the petal, you will notice something of the color of the flower changing from one hue to, a, to the other. And so that's, it's really sort of simple how you do that. You can move to the next color and gradually tint the original hue. In this, in this case, our original hue is yellow. And so we gradually tint that with yellow. And then we work backwards into the original color and pull the brush very gently until we see a transition where we can no longer see a division from one hue into the other. And we can keep moving that, let it get just a little bit less yellow and a little bit more yellow-orange, so like it is right here, very much yellow-orange right here. I'm going to pull some of that off the brush. and then gradually. Now we, we also did an earlier quick tip about gradation, how you can gradate color. And so here we would just give it a little bit of a, this, this technical, uh, this little technical move with the brush works very well for getting that hue transition where you pull the brush from one side to the other in kind of a crisscross motion like that and watch the two blend. You're holding the brush kind of at an angle like this and pulling it very softly, very gently. 
uh, and you see then, and then, then we can give it sort of a vertical stroke, and, and we can keep working that until we can no long, we no longer have a division. So now we have a transition that goes from from yellow into yellow orange, and we, there is really no distinct place where we could say it is no longer yellow and now yellow orange. It's a gradual change. So that is a transition of hue. You can do that with any color as it moves around the color wheel. You know, it's the way the uh, colors are arranged on the color wheel. I'll put this, this one back up. The way the colors are arranged on the color wheel, uh, they're arranged according to their relationship with each other. Uh, how they live together. If, when, a, when white light is split, these the colors that we see, like the colors of the rainbow, there's a certain way that light behaves and colors are related to each other as they move from one to the other. Hues, I should say, are related to each So you can, any color as it is beside another color moving across the wheel like this. For example, if you wanted to go from yellow to blue in a transition, you would go yellow to yellow green to green to blue green to blue in kind of a gentle transition. So that would be a fun exercise to try where you're only changing the hue. So that's one way, the hue, H-U-E, hue, that's the name of the color. That's one way that color can, you can make a smooth transition of color. There's another way you can make a smooth transition of color, and that is through, we call intensity, we call it chroma, and we call it saturation, three things. It really is the degree of saturation of that hue. So sticking with yellow, if we, I'm going to switch this wheel out and show you, I have one here where I have created the, the degrees of saturation. Let's pull this like, more like that. There we go. The degrees, now you can see that this yellow hue is changing more towards a desaturated yellow. And often we refer to those colors as colors like yellow, uh, Naples yellow or yellow ochre or, and then raw sienna that yellow will often go uh, very, very, towards very, very neutral. It might feel like it's a little bit green sometimes when you look at it. It might feel like it's a little bit uh, yellow orange sometimes when you look at it. But that is one way yellow can make a transition. Now, because yellow uh, is the lightest color on the color wheel, and we know that in order to get the desaturation, we use the complementary color or a neutral, either complementary color or a neutral to get the desaturation, then the, uh, uh, the complement of yellow being purple or violet, that requires that we do a little bit of uh, adjusting in order to get the transition. Now suppose the yellow that you see is transitioning more to the neutral. You, you might see this again in fall leaves where the color of the leaf is really about right here and it might even be getting a little bit more neutral within the leaf itself. That is a color transition. And so what would you do there? Well, we would need a violet. And so here I'm going to pull right over here a blue that is the uh, ultramarine blue. And I'm going to pull into that blue a red. And I'm just using the cadmium red uh, light here. Uh, any kind of violet is going to do that. Now we want to get that violet adjusted, or you could use a violet straight out of the tube. Any way that you would create a violet, we want that violet to be a direct complement of that yellow, or somewhere in the neighborhood of direct complement. But we also, let's pull some yellow down now, here, we also want that yellow to make a transition towards neutral. And so in order to make that happen without changing other things too, we'll need to what we call value correct this color. That means we'll put enough white into this color so that we get it pretty much in the same value range as this yellow. There is a quick tip just prior to this one earlier. I can't remember what the number of it is that, uh, that uh, um, is about the, the, the whole in, uh, characteristic of uh, intensity and saturation. Um, and you can watch that. That might help here. Now that ends up being more of a red-violet. So I'm going to get just a little bit more blue in there. 
and get that closer to a violet. And then we can show you how that will make that transition. So, um, more like that's pretty close. Now, we would then, once you had the violet, then a gradual change in the same way. So we, once again, we start with yellow. Uh, I start with, and this time we don't just call it yellow, but in order to tell ourselves what we're doing, we would call it a 100% saturation of yellow. It's a good way of saying it. So we can start there with a 100% saturation of yellow. Now, we can add just a little bit of that violet into it. Let's pull a little bit from this over in here. It's going to go. Um, add a little bit of that violet into it and put a desaturated version right here. Now that changed in value. Let's get that a little bit closer to value. The, the value of that color depends on what you're looking at. If the value is changing, you would make it either lighter or darker. But if the value is not changing, then you would... Uh, adjust that value so that it doesn't change, which I need to do right here. So I'll just ju adjust that value. Let's pull just a little bit more of that white into it. Now we're going to get a transition between those two by doing the same technical maneuver. This is a wonderful thing about painting like any other skill. You can use the same technical maneuver to do many things. So what we'll do is we will simply pull one into the other like this not all the way over because we want to keep part of that saturation but you see by pulling one into the other we can get a great a gradual or a transition a transition that goes from yellow to more neutral yellow from a high highly saturated yellow to a little bit less saturated yellow and we can continue that transition until we get all the way over to uh totally neutral and we might even try that. Let's get just a little bit more of that red in there. We might try that. Get Can we get it totally neutral? I believe about right here is getting pretty close to totally neutral. Put a little bit more of that white into it so we can keep the value the same. This is a fun exercise to do. And if you will do this exercise, it makes you aware of the many many transitions you can make the many ways that color can move and sometimes it'll be moving in two or three of those ways at one time but i want to separate them for you so that you can see that and see this is a totally almost totally neutral and then we will do the same thing to get that transition we will use that blending technique and we will have that gradual change that will move from saturated 100% saturation we might call this is not quite 0% uh, might call this almost 5% saturation right here where almost all the yellow is gone and we almost have a gray so that would be another way to make a transition when using yellow and going to a neutral the third way that the transition happens is through value and that one is relatively easy for everybody to understand because we do it all the time when we're painting. Uh, but we start out with light and we move to dark of a single hue. Now this person is talking about transition of color. And so we're, gonna, we're sticking to that. But in order to be uh, making color transition, we, we should understand the parts of the color that we're making transition. So if we're transitioning to value, what happens? It becomes either lighter or darker. In this case, if we're still transitioning from yellow, yellow is the lightest color on the color wheel. And at its high, it, it could be any value of, I mean, any uh, saturation of that yellow. So it doesn't, in order to make a transition of value, it doesn't have to be the highly saturated yellow. And so to prove that point, I'm just going to, use some of this desaturation right here pull a little bit more there and let's start out with the yellow we could have started out with yellow ochre uh let's just uh see if we can get that pretty much on that desaturated yellow so that 
we would have what we would call well yellow ochre is really more of a yellow orange but uh, having the desaturated to start out with very very light will help you to realize that it doesn't have to be that really bright yellow so if we did that let's just look into that there we go now let's make that very light get this very light right here this is about a middle value right there we get that very light right here now we have a desaturated yellow it's about that ends up being about a I would call it maybe almost 50 maybe 60 percent uh 50 40 percent not much of that yellow is left in there at all so you see as compared to this yellow when you look at it well maybe it's a little bit higher desaturation than that uh, so we'll start out with the very lightest light and then when we're working with Velia we're thinking in terms of light to dark so we we'll start out with the very lightest light of that color and we want that to gradate and so in order to make it gradate we let it gradually change and here get a little bit more paint on the brush here we have a darker value of that so we need that transition between this and that in order to get the transition we do the same thing we use that brush stroke it's a technical maneuver we use that brush stroke to blend the two together so that we have that gradation of value or that transition of value and then we can continue to take that on to a darker value now we have a darker value of that particular shade of yellow it's actually that one's moving a little bit more towards yellow orange let's get it right back there we go that's closer now to get the transition same thing and we would continue that motion of that maneuver continue that maneuver until to the degree that you see that transition of value so that you make the transition of value you can uh, make the transition of hue uh, um, of intensity or saturation and you make the transition of hue you can make all three transitions now we have the whole value range here and I have the value scale here to keep your awareness of that you have the whole range of the value that you can take any of these into so you see the main thing to be aware of when you're doing transition of color first your observation what are you seeing color do how are you seeing the color change is it changing value is it changing hue is it changing intensity or are some of these changing together is it changing both intensity and value in order to make the transition then you make that gradual change that goes from one to the other using the technical skill of blending and there you've got it be sure and view all of our quick tips while you're doing so subscribe to the channel click on the bell so you'll always get a notice when we produce a new quick tip which is every week and if you have a question leave it in the comments section and we'll make a quick tip for you also take a trip over to dyingmize.com where I have full length lessons downloads DVDs lots of other stuff there some free stuff for you and while you're there you can subscribe to the newsletter and that way you'll always be informed every time we do something new